Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to revisit uh, something that I actually showed in the first videos uh, more than two years ago on this channel and we're going to check it out again because a lot of you might not have uh, seen the video. Uh, I noticed that a lot of people actually ask me questions about things that I already done video so I'm going to revisit some of the most popular and most interesting features of Windows 8 how to change your Windows 8.1 to a classic Windows 7 type start menu. Well, go into your browser and there you will go to a site called classicshell.net. This is a totally free. They do ask for donations and you know what? I'm really open to that. If you really enjoy this piece of software, it helps you a lot. Don't hesitate to click the donate button give a little something. Uh, it's a great piece of software and really really makes life better for a lot of people with Windows 8. So you click the download now button on that page, that blue button, and there you'll be sent to a download page. It might not look exactly like this depending on what uh, site the uh, classic shell sends you, but it will have possibility of download. So you've got classic shell installer English you also have different languages. If you speak, uh, for example, I speak French, I could install the French version, uh, German and so on. Uh, so click the language that you uh, wish to have. So I'll click uh, installer in English and there you'll have the classic shell setup for download. So here it's already downloaded but um, I clicked the English so if you want to have it in a different language you'll click the language. Once it's downloaded click on the uh, application to install it. If you don't see where it is, it's probably in your downloads folder. So make sure that you can find your downloads folder uh, using the file explorer, for example. Uh, just follow the instructions. Welcome to the classic shell setup wizard. I click next. Here you will accept terms and license agreements as usual. Next. Here it says that it's going to install Classic Shell Explorer, Start Menu, uh, Classic Internet Explorer, and Shell Updates. Uh, you know, just click Next, and then click Install. As you are installing, you will. Uh, it, it shouldn't take very long. It's usually a quite um, quite fast into the install. Uh, so you just leave it installing itself. Uh, this is really a cool piece of software that really brings back a uh, you know experience more of a Windows 7 experience if you want. I'm just going to close my browser here and let it go on. Classic Shell is made by a non-profit organization. That's why they ask for donations and um, it really really is a great piece of software. I install this on pretty much every computer. Um, when you know clients get new computers, uh, when you get this classic shell, do you want to uh, install? You click yes, and there we go. And um, you know, it simplifies the way Windows 7 works. Once it's finished, you can uh, remove. I I don't read the view the README file, but you can if you want. I'll remove the check mark. Just click finish, and what it does, you see here, my start button is changed. But when it installs, uh, one thing that it will ask is the type of start button. Uh, in Windows 8.1, what's cool about the start button is that now you can actually ask for it to be simply, uh, you know, the, the regular start button from uh, Classic Shell. Now here it didn't ask me, but in your case it will ask you for which start button you might prefer, so it's going to show you uh, three different kinds of start buttons that you might want. But if you don't choose anything, uh, it's going to keep the regular Windows 8.1 start button, which is okay. And when you have that installed, well, now you have your regular start menu back with documents, pictures, music, and so on. So uh, it's as easy as that. Uh, control panel access, everything comes back to a regular format. Um, so Classic Shell is a great piece of software if you, uh, you know, 
we look at classic menu settings, this is what you'll get normally. What you can do is I can say don't replace the start button and uh, just click OK. And now I have my regular Windows 8.1 start button here, but it will give me that nice menu that um, you have in, you know, kind of like Windows 7, but with the fact that apps also show up in the list uh, of programs. So not just, it's not just uh, programs, but also apps will show up here. And you have access, of quick access to the start screen, thanks to the classic shell. So you can go to that start screen if you want through classic shell. And what classic shell also gives uh, of a nice feature actually that you get with classic shell is when you click that windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard brings you back to that desktop with that start menu open so it's pretty cool for that also so classic shell that's how you get it that's how you get back that famous start menu like we're used to uh, in windows 8 and uh, it's one of the best free apps uh, you have different apps for bringing your start uh, menu back also, uh, start button. It's uh, There's Start 8 by Starduck Software. This one is a paid version. Start 8 is a paid version. It's different, uh, but it works very well also, uh, but it's not free. So if you're looking for a free alternative, a really classic shell is great for that. And, uh, you know, while you're at it, why not give a little donation to that website? Um, and for anyone asking, probably, uh, no, I'm not affiliated at all. So when I say that you uh, should give donations, it's really, really uh, my way of thinking, not of anything else. So hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have features, maybe you have uh, problems, maybe you have something that maybe we can make a video to show you how to uh, fix it or to help you with it. And um, I'll be helping, uh, you know, others at the same time, I'll be helping others, which is always cool. And uh, thanks for the great response. You know, majority of people really love my videos and say that uh, they uh, find it really, really cool to uh, have help on the Windows channel here. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.